What's up everyone? It's a Thursday out here and I uh, want to go ahead and give you guys some updates on the graft work that I've been doing. I went ahead the other day on grafting mangoes and I want to go ahead and show you that the cleft is a little dried up. It is dark. Um, very little signs of life. I mean, I did what I could and not looking great. Um, then again, could be the scion, could be the time. Although this veneer looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off here shortly. Little zip ties, but pushing out two new leaves, new sets of leaves right there, and everything looks good. Why do they why does my veneers perform better than the clefts? I don't know. Um I have done them in the past and you know everything else seems to be okay, but it is one of those things. I did another one and I'll walk you over here to it. But until then, if we're walking through, snag one of these guys. Can't beat it. I mean, in the sun, it is beautiful, nice and sweet. Check out. So I did another graft. Whoop. Right over here on this mango. Um, just to show a customer. Sarah that you can do a graft and that one's pushing and that's a cleft I basically just cut it and dropped it down and put it right back on itself um, just to show her the technique and that one's going so every once in a while you'll hit a home run but you have to just keep practicing I use the foil that way the Sun doesn't beat it up and the same technique was used on that was used on the um, other one over there but since we're here let me give you an update on Oh, on some other graphs that I was doing. I'll do a quick walk through. These Cherry of the Rio Grands are looking nice. Oh, can you see that? Yep, that one there. And they get a little dark like that. Look at that. Gorgeous. And more are setting up here. Oh, and we get it in the sun. Yep. And we got a couple more back over here. You got one there as well. It's a small tree, I would say four and a half feet. Um, pretty small, but first little clutch. Um, let's go see what we got cooking on over here. Started doing some graph work the other day, and I was like, well, let me create something. Some days you feel creative, and I started doing some trimming and adding on to others. So I came up with darn squirrel eating up all my stuff up in here there's one that only has one eye it's running around eating all my berries I think, I think he's, here's what he's after right there he came in here already I'm sure oh there's another one there and none on that one <laughs> perfect um they're getting smart now they're coming in for the pigeon peas they've learned how to eat them so there he's up there on the fence eating that um so what have I been doing well I'm always up to something. Um, here, I am coming up with a tail of two peaches. So this itself is a juicy peach. Whoop, can you see that? Juicy peach mango. All right. And what did you graft onto here? To it, I grafted a peach cobbler. And I figured why not put both peaches on there. And a lucky individual will have a tail of two peaches. And for my Thai people, I'm doing a taste of Thailand. I got <clears throat> Pimsain Mum and Prime Kaimea. I'm putting that on the same. That way, why not have both of the best of both worlds? Um, later on, once this one heals, if it's still rocking and it's still holding here, what I'll do is I will put a Nam Duk Mai up a little bit further and you'll have a trifecta of Thailand um, but <clears throat> yeah I'm just coming up with some cool cocktail trees why not tis the season um, I just planted one of these Bryce's world's best in the ground because I hear good things about them and I've been just getting these guys ready these are the three-in-one mulberries dwarf tie on the left and that one's still pushing there so it's not out on the sales floor yet but it's coming once it heals up, there's another one there that I'm grafting. Looks like a 
Shangri-La, maybe, Pakistan. Um, but yeah, everything's looking okay. We're nice and green over here. Great weather. Supposed to be hitting the 90s um, this weekend, so it's supposed to be a hot one. Get ready, y'all, because it's going to be dry. We're waiting on some rain because, you know, it makes everything look a whole lot better. But until then, I just got to water a whole lot more. Let me see your other grass. All right, shut your mouth and let's, let's see some other stuff. Well, these are all the return ascenders. And I got people asking, does it work? Well, I have never done this one before, okay? I was watching a video online and I heard something about, you know, basically grafting a tree onto itself to speed up production. And lo and behold, I reached out and got an answer and supposedly it does. Um, I don't want to air them out in case, you know, the person doesn't want to go ahead and, and really say or back it up. But supposedly it's uh, definitely possible. We shall find out. Give me a couple of years. Um, but yeah, this came from a reputable source. And supposedly that works. Again, I have not done this before. I have not fruited them before. Um, but there's a chance. And it's called self-grafting or um what's it called self grafting or auto graft that's what i was told and the little ice cream that could could not this time <laughs> of course not um but we got sugar put sugar rush peach coming some spicy mango or ahi mango over here the glen yes it's allergy season folks hang on the glen's only giving us two there one fell off the other day so we got one there and two more back there so we're showing five on this tree here and hey as long as we get to taste it this year and it's fleshing out like crazy um, as long as we get to taste it i'm pretty stoked this one is the fairchild and three almost four <laughs> i don't know if that's gonna hold but maybe four little lonely mangoes and we got <laughs> a mouse to feed over here so i wish we had a lot more but what do you do what do you do? The wind came through here and knocked a lot of this stuff down. Here's the Venus, and here's what's left. <laughs> Some of these are already turning yellow and kind of flaking off, but whatever holds will hold. And again, give me one or two, and we'll be able to eat. That one looks promising right there. And the tree's looking great, nice and healthy. A little bit of powdery mildew stains on the leaves, um, but otherwise looking good. This one I'll use to go ahead and um, use as a scion. I stripped it all off because of the powdery mildew, but it's starting to push. And I can go ahead and use that later on. Create more. I got this one little lonely guy there, but he's about to fall off too. Um, but pretty stoked for the first time. This tree's showed us that it can hold a few, hopefully. <laughs> but, you know, it, it did flush a lot, and I'm pretty proud. So... It only gets better from here on out. As they age, they do get better. What else do we got? Got the nursery rocking, everything is coming along, mulching like crazy, getting some more stuff in. What else, what else? Got the Okinawa spinach blooming, all the butterflies are out here. The M4 is still holding. Uh-oh, got a phone call coming in. This one is the last bloom here not holding too much maybe it's deciding <laughs> just one up there on the top maybe it's deciding that this should be enough i'm guessing um i got some more down there you can see a little cluster there there's a couple on here i'll be surprised if we can hold a good dirty dozen that'd be awesome i mean i'll take half of that but as long as the wind holds down we can go ahead and get something but yes, I want to do a, a, a coconut cream and an M4 uh, duo there. And then the Maria starting to flush out some more. Seems like it's going to be a late season for sure. And not seeing a ton of powdery mildew. Um, pretty clean panicle on there. And then that one there is just clustered up on the bottom there. But uh, nothing setting just yet. We shall see. And we're getting some more growth over here on the ends. You can see that. It's coming. 
Will it be flowers though? Dun dun dun. Let's hope. Just underneath there, pineapple guava's going. I don't know if I should hand pollinate or just allow it to do its thing. We shall find out. Um, I may come out here later on with a little brush and give it a whirl. What's the worst that happens? Um, that one's going. And from what I hear, you got to have two. Um, but I don't know if that's just for more fruit or for fruit set in general. But I only see one bloom there. And I think I'm getting, yeah, another one there. Um, but, yep, that's working. Carrie is, I just walked by and I was like, whoa. Could be another little panicle coming off of there. Could be the second bloom because she didn't give us much. Everything kind of fell off. And from what I hear, it was males. Um, said that before, heard that before. I gotcha. Um, so all the Barbados cherries are starting to come around. They are, oh, we got some blooms there. These are starting to be seen a lot more. Let me see if I can find you a couple more. I know. Dun dun dun. All right, nothing exciting there. I swear there's more. <laughs> and then underneath here, you got some sweet 100s. I kind of just toss stuff in here willy nilly. Uh, Serving on cherry. This one went nuts earlier on in the season and held nothing. <laughs> Not one. I mean, it exploded with blooms, and you would have thought we would have been cherry rich, but uh, no. We were very. Surprise. <laughs> Cherry surprise on nothing. Although this one over here <clears throat> has its back. We got a couple here. And I know certain people don't like them. It's an acquired taste. Oh, that one just fell off. It's an acquired taste. Um, but they're a little resinous-y. Got some pigeon peas. But, nope. Yep. Supposed to get a little bit darker. We do have the black ones as well. Um, but these... <laughs> These are not bad. Um, mm. It's got like a little piney taste. Ooh. Yep, seed's pretty big. Not bad. I dig them. Planted a bunch of the black ones as well. Um, but I just touched them and it fell off. I wonder if that one, yep. This is gonna be the red one. I got one there. I see another one on the ground, but anyways, I'll save that one. Plant the seeds and we'll get more going from those. And what else are we working real quick now that you're here? I'm gonna get some more watermelons in the ground today. I got all of these dwarf air ever bearings here. Tiny little mulberries. <laughs> They're in here. Um oh let me show you what else I've been working. Who wants some armadillos? Come over here and grab some. They are back here every night, running amok. They're digging up all my stuff over here. Look at this, my watermelons get dug up. They come in here and leave tracks everywhere. It's a mess. Um, I'm gonna convert that area over there to some more melons. Valencia Pride, ooh, 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 look at that. Two of them off of this little guy. I'm gonna have to brace it up or do something, but it will work. They are large. Um, what did I do? <clears throat> I've been creating. And what that means, getting these beds ready and adding more wood, getting some more soil in there. We can grow more stuff. <laughs> Why not? Back over here. Oh, yeah, real quick. Um, put in some malangas or taros and some. Monstera Deliciosa for Mr. Orlando Gardner. <laughs> uh, let it climb all the way up and fruit. I should be getting some in about three years. And I do have another one. It's my second one. The first one got smoked over there um, last year in the winter. But I'm trying again. And I figure if I put it over here, it will insulate it a little bit more because it has the fence. So just maybe. But yeah, my other one is straight down yonder. Whoop right there at the base there yep you can see it just there but anyways um this is my second one we'll see what we can do hopefully it'll stay nice and healthy been giving the carry some some um 
nutrients been spraying down with some sea kelp and it's been reacting pretty good the leaves turn over very quickly so don't worry about that um, but everything else is looking pretty good and went ahead and installed this bed over here for some culantro or recao uh, many different uses for that we use it on all the sofritos all the herbs the two avocados I had to replace out here or move over here I've been moving things around um, but the poncho had to come over here in the day and this guy's holding and the little day there too put them out here because their spot got repossessed sorry dude so I went ahead and built this bed out gave the, all the longevity a trim cleaned it all up and went ahead and planted it out got beets and radishes in here it's a brand new one went ahead and just put a bunch of logs in here there's no screws or nothing i just old school style i mean if you got some wood laying around put it around the edge and throw some soil in the middle and ride out i mean it's just so that way the armadillos don't come down and they don't kick it in or, or knock it over I, I was doing that with the smaller logs um i started off with the smaller ones and from what I've noticed, you know, if you don't like actually secure them, then the armadillos will come around and dig right in there. They'll push right through. So I went ahead and made it a little bit bigger. Hopefully that'll be the answer, but we'll find out. I'll let you know. Um, back over here, got some root stocks over here and got some more, more uh, cultivars that I'm hanging on to. This is one that I'm excited for. Dun dun, the fruit punch. Have not tasted it. Hear great things. Dwarf Hawaiian and lemon zest. I got a up pot here shortly, but I do have some interesting root stocks here and also new hybrids. For instance, I got a bunch of these <laughs> Mark Anthony seedlings. I think I got two, four, six, like eight of them. And shout out to mr andy <laughs> i got a bunch of the seedlings i don't know if you've already grown one out um but i thought about that it's a very good mango and the seedlings look pretty good i mean they're pretty vigorous but i got other ones in here like karen michelle's and oh there's another mark anthony um oh man i'm squishing the berry all in my fingers might as well eat it <laughs> yes i was trying to hold it but Got two soft. Mm -hmm. Bailey's Marble. These are all the mangoes that I had last year. Um, and I went ahead and planted it out. This one is a mystery. <laughs> Yay. Gotta love those. Uh, what else we got? Angie seedling here. Um, but these will be new hybrids or oh, cotton candy seedling with... <laughs> with uh everglades tomatoes in there you can't beat that we have a cotton candy seedling um that looks quite nice that looks more like indo-chinese nope mark anthony seedling look at that with a darker fold yeah right there i got gotcha. you they're all tossed in here but we got a bunch of stuff that i can work with later on create more but that is the name of the game is to always be creating um grafting adding subtracting and moving Things are always moving forward. You know, I ain't stopping. You're gonna have to outwork me, y'all. <laughs> but every day I'm out here grinding and sewing and trying to find something else to get into because that's the name of the game. You gotta stay in, stay ahead and always add on. Be better than yesterday. Just been up potting a ton of seedlings, all the blue and gingers, adding these, um, other pallets out here to go ahead and make more room shout out to my brother-in-law for these plastic ones those will last forever but i'm extending everything and cleaning everything up as you can see the fireplace is now gone well boop, 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 just moved over here and i'll create the madness over here went ahead and stacked it up a little bit higher and it's got to clean up this area move some things around but it will look all nice again once this gets rocking and rolling. 
spring has sprung. Let's grow some cool things, some edibles, all kinds of goodies, because nothing tastes better than whenever you grow it yourself. I'm sorry. You go outside, you pick that fresh tomato, and you're like, whoa, that's something. And I'll give you an example. I'll show you one right now. Hang on. Bananas, we got anti lilies, got all these peppers in here. Shout out to that fish. Hot ones, sweet ones, some in between. Pippin's golden honey. And it's Thursday, we're open, but we're in between customers, so why not make a quick video? Show them what you're working with. <laughs> cool avocados, both of those are choquettes. Got June plums rocking. Coming, coming, some of these leaves. Try out the, the taste. It's one of the very uh, few trees that can be eaten, or the leaves can be eaten. Um, and that one's already flowering. They flower and fruit like crazy. Amazing flavor. Um, all kinds of little things. Cool coleus. Still got some strawberries. Got this groomy. I'm surprised it's not flowering. It should be flowering here. Um, but gorgeous. 75 bucks. She's yours. This my May. Gave her some good sea kelp and she reacted beautifully. Nice and green. Sea kelp really does help. Um, I went ahead and sprayed it down, dilute it, and everything seems to dig it. Got a bunch of mojitos. Oh, yeah. Cheers. And the pink pomelo. Still here. <laughs> Come give this thing a home. It needs to go home with you. It wants to go home with you. This thing smelled amazing. Gave off a ton of blooms. Um, didn't hold any fruit, which I wouldn't expect it to this year. Um, but, oh wait, we got three more in the back. Maybe it did. Um, negative. Maybe. We'll see. We'll check up on you later. Inside, what are you cooking with inside? Hollyhocks. Got some sugar cane. More of these mojitos. Some ele paellos. One more Thai constellation. Uh, variegation on it. Variegation on it isn't the greatest, but still beautiful. Don't judge her. She'll get better. All right, got moringa right behind it. And some more peppers, some ahi charapitas, longevity spinach. I got some more peppers in there, like orange spice jalapeno and lemon spice jalapeno. I even think I got, and there's orange spice jalapeno. I think I got pumpkin spice jalapeno in here as well um all kinds of cool stuff come on over and check us out lavenders more ele paellos put them i went ahead and put them in one gallon containers and look at that they're looking happy i mean how is this one still here how is this one still here i don't get it the colors like that you're not going to find that anywhere else. And the new one? Oh! <laughs> Tom, come and get it. <laughs> you were talking about it. What? Well, more herbs here, which are kind of light. I will be grabbing some more this week. Um, but we are looking good. Weather's nice. Come on out. Take a tour. See what's in season. It'll change your life. <laughs> Passion fruits rocking. We're getting more coming out as well. Oh, I didn't show you the inside. More tomatoes. I got, what is it, champions and sweetheart cherries. I do have some black strawberries as well. Um, got a bunch of ever bearings. Got a bunch of rosels and some black cherry tomatoes. Oh, I wanted to show you the, the other tomatoes real quick more seedlings coming i got some loquats that are coming um let's see mulberries and passions and toothaches <laughs> toothache plants all coming up in there yeah and that fish pepper that i need to harvest off of there that one's ready i want to give that one a taste i know i know my allergies 
Uh, there's a good calypso pepper or a jigsaw pepper. Really cool variegation on there. Will turn purple and white. It is a very cool one. I can't wait for the variegation later on. Let's see. Watermelons that are going out here shortly. And let's see. Mustards and sugar apples. Went ahead and up potted some of the reds and the greens over here. There's gonna, it's going to take a while before those are ready, but I do have just a few more that are still pushing through. <laughs> it is fun to watch them, watch them grow real slowly from seed. Took, took me at least three months to get them pushing out. Did some holy basil and a few more of the jalapenos got to come out, but we're rocking and rolling. Life is good. It's what you make it, of course, but the weather's good. You got love in your heart, you can do any damn thing. Sorry. Let me show you some tomatoes real quick. Let me get you out of here. Running low on mulch. You got some tree you got a tree company outside, um, out front. And I told them I told them that they can go ahead and dump over here. And they told me that they would, but I'm still waiting on the load. Gotta love the bougainvillea, right? Look at this. This is all the cuttings because <laughs> I have to snip the tops because of all of these wonderful thorns. Gotta love it. Well, real quick. Oh, there's none ready. I was gonna grab some of these super sweet 100s, but they're not ready. Oh, gotta wait. But yeah, this is how I grow my tomatoes over on this uh, south side because it gets a lot more of the shade starting to heat up so I prefer to go ahead and run them along this chain link but anyways well that was a lost cause no worries folks until next time y'all have a great week weekend if you're local come on out come over and say hello I'll be here all weekend and be hanging out waiting for you have a good weekend plant something keep growing together y'all peace